What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing Politoed alongside with its boy Swift Swim Polyrath. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But before we talk about any Pokemon and go over today's team preview, I got a couple of shout outs to give. Starting off with the team creator, Andy VGC. Thank you so much for making this team and making it a rental code. If you guys want the Poke Pace or want to see this team more in depth, make sure you guys head over to his channel. Link will be down in the description below. Second shout out is going to be a birthday shout out to my longtime viewer, James. James, huge shout out to you and happy birthday, man. Thank you so much for, for supporting me and helping me grow as a content creator. Last but not least, we got a few more shout outs with the Jeans members. Huge shout out to my members. Absolutely love all you guys. Jaren Conley coming in with the Jeans member. We also got Matt Golden coming in, becoming a Jeans member. And then we got a Jeans super member. Paid a little bit extra to get that title. My boy, Brian Johnson. Huge shout out to all my members. If you guys want to become a member, link is down in the description below. Seriously, guys, thank you so much for the support. But our first Pokemon that we're going to talk about in today's team preview, it's going to be Polyrath. It's got Swift Swim to double its speed in the rain with the Citrus Berry as its item. It's got Belly Drum to set up that plus six attack boost, and then great move set up Drain Punch, Liquidation, and Protect. Politoed is our second Pokemon, and like I said, it pairs up with Polyrath perfectly because it gets set to rain with the Drizzle ability. It's got leftovers as item, and it's rocking Parasong, Helping Hand, Protect, and Money Water. Third slot is going to be our support Pokemon. It is going to be Friend Guard Clefairy with the Evil Light as item, then Follow Me, Helping Hand, Protect, and Heal Pulse. Fourth slot is going to be King Gambit. Not just any King Gambit, Defiant King Gambit. Intimidate is such a big part of the meta right now, so having Defiant Pokemon on your team, it, it really helps out. It definitely does. King Gambit's got the Assault Vest, and then Rocket a great move set of Kowtow Cleave. Sucker Punch, Iron Head, and Terra Blast. In our fifth slot, we got Iron Bundle. Iron Bundle is super fast and it hits like a truck on the special attacking side. It's got Quirk Drive with the booster energy and then Hydro Pump, Free Stride, Icy Wind, and Protect. Final Pokemon is going to be Sinistra, another support Pokemon on this team to help this team grab some wins. It's got Hospitality as its ability and the Rocky Helmet as its item. Moveset is pretty standard but super strong with Macha Gacha, Strength Sap, Rage Powder, and Trick Room. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner. Well, let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Politoed and Polyrath team. First match on its way, and we're also going up against a semi rain team. They got Politoed and they got Swift Swim Basket Legion. So I'm definitely going to be bringing in my rain squad with Polyrath or Polyrath and Politoed. But uh, a Pokemon that I'm going to have to watch out for is definitely going to be Rillaboom. Rillaboom, always a problem. It always is a problem, especially now that they give him Grassy Glide. I just don't like it. I don't like going up against that. But Iron Bundle is going to be a great Pokemon. I want to check its Terra type because, again, Grass Guy can just do it so dirty. So I'm going to go into Polyrath for the lead. Did I go Polyrath for the lead? Yeah, we're going to go Polyrath for the lead. And I'm also going to lead it with... Do I go Politoed? Do I lead it with Politoed? Or I could just go Iron Bundle. I think I'm just going to lead Iron Bundle alongside maybe like Gambit. Gambit's not a bad lead here. Well, I can go maybe with like a friend guard Pokemon, a little bit of support. That wouldn't be bad. But you know what? I'm going to go Gambit. And I'm just going to go Politoed and Polyrath in the back end. I like that a lot. I do like it a lot. So let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But their team seems pretty powerful, right? Real Boom really kind of counters my team. That's why I did not want to lead the Polyrath and Iron Bundle. Because if they lead Real Boom, then I'm forced to kind of lose one Pokemon. But by leading just Iron Bundle, I can then Thrastalize it and get a lot of value out of it. So let's see who he ends up going into. It's definitely got to be Real Boom, right? Tornadus and Politoed. Okay. Politoed. Come on. Yeah, I don't mind Politoed. I got a nice little free shot, which works wonders on both these guys. Let me start to get Ampers. So I'm going to pop the Cork Drive. I will get a lovely speed boost. Awesome. And I can get cooking from there. So from here, I'm just going to free stride the Tornadus, right? Yeah, I'm going to free stride the Tornadus. And on top of that, I'm just going to Kowtow Cleat. I could actually go here and just Terra and rip the Tornadus. But, but I want to save my Terra. Especially if they have Rillaboom in the back end. I love that. So they're going to pop a tail in here, turn one. That's totally fine. Politoed's looking tough. I love how it looks. And I'm out speeding the Politoed regardless with Freeze Dry. The Freeze Dry comes out here, brings Tornadus down to 1 HP. And he's going to end up Parasaur. Okay. He's going to end up Parasaur. I mean, that's fine. I don't mind that. I really don't mind that because I can eventually swap. 
You don't have Shadow Tag out here with like Gotham Talent, so I can just swap whenever I want. So from here, I'm just gonna rip another freeze dry into this slot. And I'll just go Kyle Top Cleave. We'll just do the same thing, right? Yeah, they can swap if they want. Which one else is gonna protect? You're gonna Encore me maybe into a move? Kinda confused with what you're gonna do here. Freeze dry is gonna get blocked here. What is Polytoke going for? Like you have to have something up your sleeve here. No, just some muddy water. Just a simple muddy water coming out here. So muddy water is gonna land here. Oh, and actually, uh, King Game with Dodge. Got that cleave comes through and takes out the Polytoke. Okay. Cool with this. I'm cool with this. So Parasong is down to two. That's fine. I can swap whenever I want, and we'll go from there. So now might be the turn to swap. Considering they have Tornados on the field. Rather than two big attackers, we might want to just double swap now. Bring out the boy Pyrath. But in that case, if they're going for a Bleak Wind Storm, that can be scary. So Lando comes out here. I'm just going to try to waste out Tailwind turns. I'm just going to hard swap into Polytoad here. And I'm just going to KO Tornadus. With the Sucker Punch. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Because Chance Sorry is going for like a ground move here. And he could just KO my uh my King Gambit. But I'm gonna swap into Polytoad and maybe try to pop a Parish Song once I get rid of the Tornadus. Because at that point they can't swap out. Sucker Punch is now gonna fly here. Gets rid of Tornadus. Love that. And Yeah, I kinda like what we're saying. Let's see what he's going for. He's going for Sans a Sans Seer Sword. Just fine. I mean, Polito can't eat up another one, which kind of sucks. I mean, we got leftovers. So maybe do I protect first? Hmm. What's the play? We're, we're kind of trying to waste out Tailwind here at the same time. The Basket Legion is going to be the final Pokemon. Um, how many turns are left in Tailwind? There are two turns left in Rain. And one turn left in Tailwind. So by protecting Polito, that could be pretty good for me. And probably just ripping a Sucker Punch here, right? But I Sucker Punch into Lando instead of Basque Legion. Because I'd rather King Gambit just die out than a uh, hard swap. It's going to die out regardless. I'm just going to protect Polytoad here. I'm going to Sucker Punch Landers because I believe Basque Legion is either going to Terra or just protect here. So I'd rather just go after Lando. So out comes the Terra type. And it's going to be Lando. What type are you going into? That's a ground type. Okay. He's gonna ground terror. Sand Seer Storm's gonna do a massive amount of damage. And Basket Legion Protect. So we make the hard read of the Protect or Terror type. And that works perfectly for us because King Gambit will get off some damage before it dies out. That's huge. That is huge. The Sucker Punch coming in hot here. We have one turn left in rain. And he's gonna Sand Seer Storm to KO my King Gambit. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. What's my play now? What is my play? So that Polytoad out here. I could go Pyrath just for a bit more speed. But right now, Basket Legion seems to be the bigger problem. So Tailwind's gone. I think going into Iron Bundle would probably be the call, right? And just freeze dry, take out the Basket Legion. Yeah, because Pyrath can handle uh, uh, the Lando. Even though Lando's hitting hard, Pyrath can handle that. Polyrath can handle that. At this point, I'm just going to pop a Muddy Water, and I'm just going to go into a Freeze Dry. Do I Terrasse Slash? No. Uh, yeah, there's no point in Terrasse Slashing. I'm going to Freeze Dry Bash. So he ends up outspeeding me, and that hurts. I should have maybe... No. Are you choice? Swift Swim, so it's double speed, but still. I thought maybe I can outspeed that. That kind of hurts. Can you eat up? You don't eat up, Polyploid. Don't. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. This is tough. We're definitely gonna lose this one now. I probably should have protected the iron bundle and wasted out the rain. That might have been a better call. That's tough. That is tough. Because Pyrath's gonna come out here. Liquidation's really not gonna do too much. And I'm just gonna go for liquidation in this slot, but Bash Legion seems like he can win the one-on-one -on -one, no problem. Look at Pyrath though, he looks tough. So match number one's gonna go to our opponent. 
That's kind of tough on Iron. Considering I probably could have won that if I just protected it and thought a little bit more. But I really did think Iron Bundle would have been able to outspeed the Basket Legion. So right now we're outspeeding the Basket Legion, which is big time. But again, Basket Legion can win this 1v1 all day. It wins it all day. It's going to go for last respects. It's going to do a nice chunk of damage, isn't it? Oh my god, puts us on 4. It puts us on 4. It puts us on 4. So now from here, I thought Rain ended. Oh, it went eight turns. It went eight turns. It went eight turns. So from here, yeah, we have no shot at winning this. Maybe we'll just Terrasize and say screw it. <laughs> See what happens. But yeah, this one's definitely going to our opponent all day. So I'll Terrasize. I'm surprised he didn't bring Wolven. Super surprised at that. And we'll go from here, but yeah, it's it's pretty much wraps, right? Unless he goes for an Aqua Jet. Maybe he goes for an Aqua Jet. We soak it. And then we do some big time damage, and then we, uh, so beating him up. A liquidation unit gonna come out here. Yeah, like I said, Magic Legion wins this 1v1 all day. Last respects come out here, and we are sitting 0-1. Let's go up through a second match, try to make better plays, and actually grab you guys a win. Second match is on its way. We know exactly what we're going up against. We are going up against a Galarian Weezing and Slacking Combo team. So that could be rather annoying, right? It could be really annoying considering we set weather with an ability. So that could be really tough for us. I am gonna go, do I go Sinistra or do I go Clefairy here? I think I'm gonna go Sinistra here for the lead. We don't really need its ability, especially for leading it. And I'm gonna go Pyrath and I might try to set up a Belly Drum. That could be beautiful. That could be lovely. So I'm gonna go Pyrath, I am gonna go Sinistra. And in the back end, we're gonna go Politoed. And then we're gonna need something to kind of KO the Weezing. And honestly, the typing is just so good with the Poison and Fairy. I mean, I got you, I do got you. You can get some work done. Yeah, I'll go in with King Gambit. I'll go in with King Gambit, even though I love Iron Bundle here. Do we not go Politoed? Maybe we just don't go Politoed. Now we're gonna go Politoed. We are gonna go Politoed, so. Let's look to grab ourselves someone here in match number two. We are 0 1 at first match. Came down to wire, but I made a made a bad play. Definitely made a bad play. So, would love to win this match for you guys. And then head into the third one and one. And then then maybe, just maybe, grab ourselves some winning record. It'll be awesome. It'd be awesome. But we'll focus on this match for starters. They go Grim Snarl and Fluttermane. Grim Grim and Fluttermane come out here. Polywrath is shown here. Mm, do I Terra? Do I Terra? I believe I do. I believe I am gonna Terrasse Slice. And da -da 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 -da. I might just trick room here. I'm gonna trick room, I'm gonna terrasalize, and I'm gonna belly drum. That's gonna be my play all day. But I think they set up a screen, they go for like a dazzling game or something like that. Yeah. So, going into the poison set, it's gonna be pretty solid for us. And then setting up the trick room could be pretty good, especially with Gambit in the back end and Politoed. Which I'm kinda hoping they have player and Weezing, but now, if you usually if you're not leading it, you don't bring it. So we'll see. We'll see. Polyrath looking amazing as usual. Look at this dude's back. Let me see his back. It's massive. He's absolutely huge. He's got the tiny legs. But look at his arms and look at his back. He ain't playing around. Polyrath plays in the games. So we're going to end up terrasalizing here turn one. I wouldn't be surprised to see a Reflect or a Late Tune come out here. But Belly Drum, it's good. It's good. We can get that plus six boost. That plus six boost. Like I said, they might be going for Dazzling Gleam, and there it is. There's a the Gleam comes out here, that's why we terrestrialize, and on top of that, we get off this big time belly drum. It looks like he might be parting shotting or something, right? Definitely could see it happening. We're gonna Citrus Berry, I can then Drain Punch next turn as well, which could be good for us. And I get some HP back that way. So he ends up going for a Spirit Break, and he's gonna double down to Polyrath. I don't mind that, I don't mind that. I don't mind that, you get the special attack drop. And now I get off Trick. The Trick Room is now here. Trick Room is now upon us. Trick Room is now upon us. And this is where I Rage Powder. I really want to go for Drain Punch. Yeah, and I'm going to Drain Punch Grim Strong Slot. Cool. So we got a plus six boosted Pyrath in the Trick Room. They got a rather fast team that really helps us out here. Fluttermane ends up protecting. Mwah. We love it. We love it. Hopefully, no screens comes out here and I could just Drain Punch and finish off Grim Strong. That would be beautiful. That would be lovely. Maybe Parting Shot. Let's see. Now he sets up the reflect. 
So now that would have been a perfect turn to swap out Sinistra. The Reflect comes out here. We're still plus six and we're still ripping damage. Look at that damage. Absurd. Absurd amount of damage. We get back a ton of HP here. And I think from here we just throw a Macha Gacha. To finish off Grimmsnarl and then we double down into Fluttermane with the Liquidation. Cool. So Polyrath getting things started off high. Perfect, perfect turn for us to set up Belly Drum. And honestly, maybe by the time Trick Room ends, we can then swap in Politoed and then take speed with the Swift Swim. So we get a little bit of best of both worlds maybe in this battle. So our opponent's probably thinking like, oh dang, I'm in a tough position here and I don't know what to do. And they're thinking a lot. They're thinking a lot. Instead of just setting up the Light Screen, that's exactly what I would have done with Grimmsnarl. So he sets up Light Screen with Grimmsnarl. Macha Gacha, can you KO Grimmsnarl? I think you should be able to. You do. Beautiful. That's exactly what I wanted. And hopefully Liquidation can just finish off uh, Fluttermane, even through the Reflect. Because again, we're plus six. We're hitting like a god dang truck. We're hitting like big boy power as should. Liquidation comes out here. And it's KOing, yeah. Yo, Polyrath with the Belly Drum. Loving it, loving it. So we got Trick Room for a couple more turns. They might have a slower Pokemon in the back end, but at this point, I can just Rage Powder most of the uh, Trick Room turns left. So we'll see. They end up going Fragrant, so they could cancel Trick Room. That is a possibility. And they're going to go into Dragon Ball, which I love. I love that they have Dragon Ball. So I have Sucker Punch Pokemon in the back end, which is great. And from here, I am. I could strength sap. I actually could just strength sap you. But I'd rather just rage powder the shots. I'd rather just rage powder and maybe just go for a drain punch in the fur graph. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm gonna drain punch in the fur graph. I believe fur graph is gonna be slow or faster at this point than my pyrath. So if it does damage to my pyrath, but say a hyper voice, I'm gonna really get after it. I Man, some just nasty plan. You got chill. You gotta chill. You gotta stop that, Ferigi. You gotta stop that. So Drain Punch coming in here. Big time damage. That's that's through a Reflect, too. That damage is absurd. So Ferigi is plus two. And it's eating up a Citrus Berry. So we should still be able to KO with another Drain Punch. Yeah, another Drain Punch will finish that thing off all day. And Dragapult is just going for a shot. Which, can you eat? Maybe, probably not. Do we eat? That's, that's lovely. That's lovely. Because from here, I'm just going to Rage Powder again. How many turns are left in Trick Room? I think it's one. Yeah. And we'll just go for another Drain Punch. Just in case, again, it wants to go for a Hyper Voice. So, Frigraph could protect here. But I don't know. I think Smart Play would be Frigraph protect and then Dragon Pull keep doing one stone. And that's exactly what we do. So again, Smart Play coming out from our opponent. Uh, from here, Rage Powder is going to fly. And he's just going to get rid of my... My Sinistra. The Sinistra's gone. So I want to make that read of the Protect, but I just I just feel like it would have been stupid to do so. Because if we didn't make that read in it, so I just feel like it would have been stupid. So Sinistra is actually eating me. We like that a lot. And honestly, I might just... You got Kudchu. Oh, you son of a biscuit. You son of a biscuit. How dare you? How dare you? You gotta go right now. Okay, so we're gonna swap Sinistra into Politoed. And I'm just gonna Liquidation to get rid of the graph. I'm not dealing with a plus two for graph with Kudchu. Just not. It's just not happening. So I know it can't protect. I'm not really too worried about Dragapult because I do have Sucker Punch later. But they still have Terror too. Kind of scaring me. The Trick Room's gone. They can't protect for Riggy. If I hit this thing with a Liquidation, it should die out here. And yo. Pyrath killing it. Pyrath killing it in this battle. Look at his back. Massive. Dude's a tank. Dude's a tank. So he ends up going. He ends up terrasalizing here. And who are you terrasalizing? It could be either one. It's going to be Frigraph. And then what typing? No shot you have water. There's just zero chance that you should have water right here. That is absurd. Now that is absurd. You have water, Terra? The most absurd. But ends up going for a Shadow Ball. I'm dead here. He's gonna Psychic me. Hey, go Terra Blast. Am I dead? I might be dead to that. That is just, that just baffles me. That just baffles me that you, that you have Water Terra. Right? That's just crazy. That's absurd. 
That's absurd. So Dragon Pull, I think it's choice in a Shadow Ball. Right? That's how it seems. It seems choice in a Shadow Ball. So from here, if I want it to, I think I just... I think I just Muddy Water and I KO for a graph with Sucker Punch. Right? Yeah, I'm cool with Kevin. Pretty rough with Sucker Punch. And it's gonna protect. Of course it's gonna protect. So, I again, I believe it is choice. And we have a Soul Vest, which is good. And we'll kind of just see how this one plays out here. Are you choice? Oh, no, you're not choice. I forgot you surfing. Where'd he go? He's gonna end up surfing. At least we're soaking pretty well. Muddy Water comes out here. And he's dodging Muddy Water. Oh my lord. Ah! I hate this game. <laughs> um, can I Power Song? No, we're gonna go for another Muddy Water. So Muddy Water's gonna come out here. Should we go for another Sucker Punch? Yeah. I think we just I think we just keep going after for graph. I don't I don't know if our opponent is gonna think of this to go for a double protect to dodge a sucker punch. But I was thinking of just switching over to Dragapult and finishing that off. And he's popping trick room. Oh my lord. Can Muddy Water finish this thing off? I'm paralyzed too. No shot. He's nasty blood. It goes for Nasty Plot. And I can't move? Absurd. 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 You know, I'm sick of this. We're just gonna finish off for a here. He's gonna protect. I don't even wanna look. I don't even wanna look. This is getting out of hand. This is getting out of hand. Why am I letting the opponent back in this match? Jeans, sucker punch a Dragapult. It's actually Focus Ash, which is awful. No, don't don't sucker punch the uh, the Dragapult. Do not sucker punch the Dragapult. Kowtow cleave the Frigoraph and finish this Pokemon off here. Do it right now. Kill this Pokemon. Kowtow Cleave. Right into it. Just kill it. That's all you have to do, Jeans. That's all you gotta do. Oh my lord, what am I doing? It's like throwing the match. I'm just throwing this match. Oh my lord, I should have done this 10 years ago. Cool, Polytoad's dead. I don't mind. I don't mind Polytoad dying. Because guess what? Guess what? For Rigoraph's dead. I have Assault Vest. I seem, I, I think I'm very fine with this matchup. And now, just sucker punch the dragon hole. It was that simple all before. I don't know what I was doing. Sometimes I just had to like grab myself by the throat. Like, yo, jeans, do this. Like, come on, man. Oh my lord. What am I doing? I still have Sinisha too. Lovely. Totally forgot about that Pokemon. I'm just falling apart here. Cool. So Sinisha comes out here. We get a little bit of hospitality out here. And yeah, let's mm -hmm, wrap it up. Wrap it up. Good game. Good game. Good game. I'll, I'll go for a Shrine Sap if I can. But Sucker Punch Shrine Sap. Gonna be the play. Our opponent's gonna cancel this matchup. No down, mama. What was I doing? What was I doing? I had that match in the bag and I made it so much harder than it had to be. But hey, we'll take the win all day. We'll be one and one. I'll take one and one. But look at Sinisha's little hands coming out the cup. <laughs> the tiniest little hands. Looks like, like a kid made him with Play Doh. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So our opponent's really thinking of what to do. I don't think they have many options. It's just like take the sucker punch. You got just your sash, right? Yeah, your sash. I knew. I knew you were sash from the beginning. From the beginning, I knew you were sash. After I figured out you weren't bandit, I knew you weren't sash. The surf comes out here, and Sinister's actually eating. I should have just went for a matcha gotcha. But hey, look at this. We're back up to almost full HP probably. Lovely. <laughs> That's so cool. So from here, Machigacha to finish off and then Sucker Punch. 
game set match. Battle was canceled. We're one and one. Let's go hop into that third and look for a winning record. Final match on its way, and I would love to grab you guys a winning record for today's video. We're sitting one and one, but we're going up against a Rillaboom squad. Rillaboom top tier, especially up against the team that I have in front of us. Free Stry Iron Bundle is going to be solid, and maybe we should lead that. Maybe we should lead Iron Bundle alongside with like Sinisha or even Clefairy could be pretty good. But yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that. I have the Ghost Terror type to dodge fake outs. I love it. So I'm going to go Clefairy. I am going to go Iron Bundle, and from here. I just think we just bring rain. Do we go rain? I know Ogre Pond has water absorb, but I like the squad. I can always perish song if need be. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. So one and one. Let's get after it. Let's try to grab ourselves a winning record here. We had that last match. I don't know what I was doing. I was sitting there. I was just like, I just stopped for a second. I was like, jeans, just kowtow cleave into the free grab and finish this match. It was that simple all along. I, I, I like stopped thinking and was just going for like, quick plays without thinking and that's usually where you go wrong if you're playing pokemon you don't stop to think you're probably gonna lose and half the time that's why i lose because I, I get ahead of myself sometimes but they end up going rillaboom and Cresselia. so let's think about this one rillaboom can fake out you can grassy guy you can go for a trick room with crest it's definitely an option could probably terrestrialize here as well but i think from here we're just going to terrestrialize our our iron bundle and we'll just go for a freeze dry here, right? I just think it's a simple play. And we'll also go for a follow me, just in case like Gracie guy comes out here. Or I can just helping hand the shot. I have options. I have a lot of options. I think I might help me hand the shot because I do believe he's gonna, be, he's gonna be going for fake out instead of Gracie guy. So we're gonna try size. We're gonna helping hand. We're gonna freeze dry this room. That's the plan. Let's do it. So they do have. Cresselia next to it, and Cresselia would pop a Trick Room. Like, that's not off the board, because they do have Annihilate. That Pokemon's pretty solid in Trick Room. They could really go from there. The Helping Hand comes out of here. Again, I'm really hoping this is Fake Out. And no, it is Grass Gun, so I should have followed me, but hey, that works out fine, because Freeze Rush is going to KO here. It does not KO, even with Helping. You bulky little boy. Absurdly bulky. That's absurdly Helping hand for you try from Iron B? Let me Jim come here. Miss your EVs. Yeah, that is absurd. <laughs> that is very absurd that, you, that they eat this up. Uh, from here, I could... I see when they could hard swap. But who would they hard swap into? No one's really eating up this freeze try. So you know what? I'm just going to stick with the freeze try. And I'll just go for a follow me. Wow, if I knew that wasn't going to KO, I would have followed me instantly. I was just like, okay, Helping Hand will definitely help us. Because I knew Rillaboom is pretty, could be pretty bulky. But I did not think it could survive in a Helping Hand with the uh, with the Freeze Dry. So he ends up withdrawing Rillaboom. I just looked at your team, and okay, Gudra, that's an okay option to go into. But like I said, nobody was really soaking it up. Nobody was really just soaking it. I mean, probably actually Gudra would be the best option. It's still the best. So... We'll drop freeze dry, and yeah, it, it's pretty cool. Second now comes out here, and from here, I would love to get out like a parasol or something. This creature's gonna be rather annoying. These Pokemon are really bulky. A bit too bulky for, for my play style. <laughs> These Pokemon are so bulky. Um, from here, uh, I guess Hydro Pump's gonna be play. I'll go Helping Hand Hydra Pump. As Gujar's probably setting up Shelter. And if Gujar does that, mm, really, real tough for us to actually get after that thing. The Helping Hand's gonna come out here. We'll give him the Collapse Keys. We're going for Hydra Pump with the Crest. And how much damage are we? Good chunk of damage. Half HP, we love it. Psychic's now gonna fly here. And you should be able to soak that one. Do. And Shelter? No, Heavy Sun. You're just double down into me. Okay, I don't mind that. I don't mind. Hmm. With the Pokemon that they have out here, honestly, best bet would just be follow me, Belly Jump. Get the Pyrath set up, right? I'm down for it. We gotta get the Pyrath set up here. I think that's our only way of potentially win this match. Is setting up the Pyrath. So Pyrath comes out here, and yeah, we got a Belly Jump here. 
got to go for the belly drum. And we'll just go for the follow me. So Guja could set up the Shantir, or I think we're going to force Guja to actually Terrestrialize because we do have a fighting move out here. But yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like how this match is looking. I, I don't like it. Not even in the slightest bit. Guja's just so tough to take down. So I end up belly jump, drumming, going for plus six on that attack board. And we'll see it's play here. They end up not Terrestrializing, so are they going to shelter here? A Citrus Berry out, which is beautiful, and we have the Grass Train to get some HP back, which I like. And a Psychic is going to fly in to here. They originally want to go after my Polyrath, but I'm cool with that. And he's going to end up sheltering. So Shelter comes out here, and I think I'm just going to KO the, uh... Do I KO the Crest here? I really do think Boo's just going to eventually protect. Or Terrasalize. I think I'm just going to KO you. And then on top of that, I think I'm just going to heal pulse. The Polyrath. Get it back up to full HP. Because Guja could protect here. I doubt it goes for another shelter. Unless it terrestrializes. That's why I didn't want to drain punch it. No, it just doesn't terrestrialize. I probably should have drain punched it. Do I end up doing that? Are you sheltering again? What are you doing here? Are you going for another shelter? No, you go for the body press, which I soak. And I'm heal pulsing on top of that. So it's money. That's money. That's a big time turn for us. That's a big time turn. We get off the heal pulse. We get back. Lovely amount of HP. And then Grassy Terrain tops us off. Cherry on top right there. Fills us to the brim with HP. The so Kefairi's here. The Terrain's gone. Um, I can easily see him going into Rilvin here. And this is where I save my Terror team. Yeah. So this is where I just protect this turn. To dodge the fake out. And then, we'll, and then we'll terrestrialize our. Oh, wait, we already terror? Ooh. We'll double protect. I totally forgot we terror already. So I'll protect and I'll protect. So I'm gonna double protect here. I think Gujar might be attacking or might be setting up a shelter. But I need to double protect just so they can't fake out my Pyrath and get off some big damage. And then I'll follow me next turn. The Grass Guide is coming in this slot. Please don't be sheltering. I would not like that in the slightest bit. Cool, we're going for Abyss Slam. It's tough, this is tough. So from here, I'm gonna go after Rillaboom. I'm gonna go for, go for Follow Me. And I'm just gonna KO the Rillaboom. Rillaboom's a bigger problem right now. Thank you, Dra. I think with my plus six, I could just frame punch this thing. But I'm so surprised this thing hasn't terrestrialized yet. It's absurd. Did they already terrestrialize? Am I missing something? But we're able to eat up this grass, you got. Cool. Drain Punch now flies. Bop. See you later, Rillaboom. And he's probably heavy slammed. So even with the plus two boost, I don't really mind going I'm plus six on attack. I'm doing some big time damage. There's heavy slam. So you're dead. Click on It's fine. That's fine. Watch. I'm going to go for Drain Punch into Gujra this turn. And they're going to terrestrialize. And it's going to really, it's going to really irk me that they choose to terrestrialize the one turn that I'm attacking them. But Nihilate's gonna come out here. Um, yeah, I'm still gonna go after Gujar here. Get the rain cooking too. Get the lovely rain cooking. The drain punch into Gujra. And I'm gonna helping hand this shot. I could set up a parasol, but I think my best bet is to just. Actually, I probably should have set up a parasol this turn. I probably should have. So no terror comes out here. Lovely. Green Punch should KO with Helping Hand, right? Stab, plus six. Yeah, get on out of here, Gudra. So sick of that thing being so bulky. It's got Gooey, so my speed's gonna drop. But we're Swift Swim, so we're fine with this Annihilate. I wonder what Annihilate's going for. Bulk up? You are going for Bulk up. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna set up the Parasol just in case. Actually, no, it don't even matter. I'm Helping Handing and I'm Liquidation. I'm plus six. We're fine. We're chilling here. Liquidation, Helping Hand. We're plus six on attack. Your plus one defense boost does not matter. We just dumped on a Gudra in one shot with plus two on defense. So liquidation comes out here. That should be game set now. So we struggle in the beginning of this match, but I set up Belly Drum at the perfect time to complete the comeback. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Two and one for today's video. Absolutely love this team. Politoed and Polyrath combined is very, very strong. And we got to showcase the Belly Drum portion of the squad. Actually, twice. Once you set up Belly Drum, get it rolling. 
it's really unstoppable from there. Polyrath was just dominant in today's video. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.